this distribution is from the class two, all right? So this is called the likelihood. So uh, now you may wonder why we call it the likelihood. Okay, let's see in this case. Suppose that, okay, I will, I will draw everything again. Suppose that I have, um, again, the features, the feature axis here. And then suppose that I know the distribution of the class one already is something like this, okay? Oh, sorry, this, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Suppose this is the um, class one, P of X given omega one, and this is P of X given omega two, this is class two, okay? And this is class one. And um, somehow I got some data, some, some data uh, is for something like this, okay? A sparse, sparse here. So, um, oh, actually, why don't I just suppose that you know that um, these data from all are from the same class, but you don't know that it's, uh, they are from class one or class two, right? So, if you do this, if you do. Uh, P of X I given Omega one and if you do this P of X I given Omega two I equal to one. Suppose you have one hundred point here, okay? One hundred point. Oh, this one. Then you can compare, right? That the, the product of the of the p x given omega omega one, so this is called um, actually the the term here is just the height on this curve at each data point, right? Yeah, this is this, and for for this is something like this this, right? Uh, actually, for the class two, the same thing here. You, you can do something like this. So basically, you can compare. Um, the value of this term and this term, right? Suppose that, but but in this case, um, the data fall around here, right? And then once you do this with with the the omega one, you will get something, okay, some number. And then do you will do the same thing, the same the same data set x um, with the omega two, and you get something, right? But you will see that on the class one here. Um, the data, uh, just um, a lot of data stay uh, falls in the, the very center of this distribution. So it will give the big value, right? But the this again, the the the, the same data set um, is fall at the tail of this distribution. So it will get very small value, right? So basically, that means um, it's more it's more likely that this data is generated from this distribution than distribution, right? Something like that. So that is why they call they call it the likelihood because it shows you how the data here, the black point here, match with the distribution that you give. Okay. So this is this is why they call it the likelihood. All right. So comes to the last item, the posterior. Actually, this posterior is, is just from um, the, the, the base rule. P of omega j given x will be uh, P of, actually I should write down like this, omega j multiplied by P of X given omega j divided by p of x, right? Something like this. Okay, so this term is called a posterior because once you have the likelihood and once you have the plier, right? Actually, the likelihood tells you how how the data fit fit the, the distribution that you have, fit the model that you have, and then the plier tell um, uh, is some kind of 
the idea of the thought or the guess from you, right? And you have the evidence term here. Yeah. So if you compute this, you can you can uh, go back to this one. So the thing is, what does it mean by by this term? It means that if you got some measurement x, if you got the measurement x, then what is the class that we can uh, determine for that data? Okay. So so it's like this. It's like. Uh, uh, suppose X is just the color. Suppose the color is the orange. Okay. If the color is the orange, then what should I guess that the fruit in my friend's hand should be orange or the apple? Okay. So P of class is the orange. Given the color of the fruit is orange. Suppose this, the, the color my this this one. Uh, I know it because my friend told me, okay? And this is the apple. Given the color is the orange. Then we got to compare the um actually I should write down this as the big uh, the capital P. I should compare this and this, right? Given that the color is orange, then what is the probability? that the fruit is orange and um, yeah, give it the same thing so what is the probability that um, the apple has the color as the orange so maybe this one is so normal right so it's like maybe 9.9 uh, .9, but this one gonna be only 0.1 something like this so if, if we know this if we know the color then we would like to guess. Oh, there's more chance that um, there's more chance for the fruit to be the orange than the apple. So we answer, "Hey, my friend, that fruit that you are holding, that you are hiding, is actually an orange, something like that." Okay. So this is the. Um, I just want to try to give you um, the feeling of the, the posterior. Okay. And um, for this term. So what is different between P of X given omega J and this one? So it's just flip, right? It's just flip. It's like the uh, it's like the same coin, but you flip the the face, okay? So basically, this one is like um, suppose you have okay the same situation, the apple and the color, okay? Oh, the the apple and the orange. Suppose you know that the color of the the orange. Is around here, okay? This is the color. So that means the color of the orange is just something like this, and this is the apple. This is orange. This is the apple. Okay, and then once once you give the color to be here, this is suppose this this color is is called color orange. And it fall here, then you can basically you can um, compute the the likelihood that um, the data here fit the distribution, which one better, and this is this is the amount that is fit um, the orange model, and this is very small thing here is the amount that is fit for the apple, so this is the um, this is called the the likelihood. Okay, so this equation based rule is just like to do the reverse, reverse process, reverse the, the thought here, from here, from that. If you know the distribution, if you know the model of something, then how the measurement m match the model, you just reverse the idea to this. This is given the data that you have. What is the chance? What is the probability that is going to be in this model or this model? Which one is more likely? Yeah, that that that's all. That's all. What is the um, posterior doing? Okay. Um, so 
let's get back to our problem.